What we saw in Australia is that they had a uh, typical to, uh, in some areas, more severe influenza season. And so that's what I expect to see this year is uh, more of what we saw pre-pandemic. And whether it's an average year or a more severe year will be based on a few factors, how well people you know, abide to all the lessons we learned about staying home when you're sick, masking if you're sick, getting your influenza vaccination, but also the type of virus that's circulating. One is called um, H3N2, influenza A virus. That's a pretty common uh, influenza A virus that circulated for years. And then in some areas, the pandemic strain from 2009, the H1N1 influenza strain, uh, it has also been in circulation. So we typically see those influenza A strains anywhere from November to February, March here in the United States. And then we also see a strain of influenza called influenza B, which usually causes a little bit less severe disease. And that typically comes up towards the tail end of influenza season in the February, March, April timeframe. So a really exciting time in terms of prevention strategies for these viruses. Then you get to the basics, good hand hygiene. If you're sick, stay home. If you have to get out, wear a mask if you have any of these symptoms and then testing so that we know what we're dealing with and we can take good steps to prevent transmission to other people.